Welcome to The Saki, it's our YouTube channel. We're gonna be cooking some lamb clefty code today. We're gonna to start, we're gonna get a couple of bits and pieces going. Start with some cumin seeds. Well, George, we're gonna to need to roast them if we can. Okay. I'm gonna mix it all up in a pestle and mortar. Got some fresh herbs, I'm gonna put it all in there, mix it all up, and then we're gonna get it into the lamb. Garlic's a big key for this, so you want about six cloves. We're gonna crush them up, put them in, into the pestle and mortar. Got some oregano's going in. A similar, about one and a half teaspoons of, of that. Oh, I can smell them flavours already. Well, the idea with this is trying to get it into a, a nice paste. So we're gonna put some lemon juice with it, some olive oil. This is gonna rub and massage it into the, to the lamb to really get it in there. So we're gonna dig in some holes, put it right into the, into the meat. And when we get that in the oven, just to really release all them flavours. This is one of my personal favourites, this dish. Cooks for a few hours, falls off the bone. Beautiful. Is that garlic getting on, Uncle George? Yeah, you want it now? Let's chuck that in, let's chuck that in. Super. Now we're doing this with a shoulder of lamb today. You can also do it with a leg of lamb. It depends on how many people you're cooking for. You know, family of four to six people. Get a nice bit of lamb off there. On Boxing Day, <laughs> there's about 12 of us in there, we usually do it. <laughs> About two legs. <laughs> One for me and you to share and the rest, yeah. but the rest of the family. Yeah, it's hard to stop eating this once you start. Right, I'm gonna start making uh, holes in it. It doesn't have to be too precious. It's just about getting it right in there, so it's digging it in. Get it right in there. Nice sharp knife coming through the side. Did I put the uh, uh, oregano in? Uh, no, you did put oregano in. Yeah. I need some rosemary as well. I'm going to put a little bit, again, just a few sprigs of rosemary. So I'm going to make these holes a little bit bigger so we can get that paste really deep in there. With the fresh herbs, when you really grind them in, you're just releasing some of the oils from there. God, you can smell it. I love this marinade. It's so good. So many different flavours. I can remember as a young boy going around my stedes, seeing her in the kitchen, just literally grinding these away. She'd be there making it, getting it ready. She was lit that's where she spent literally all of her time in the kitchen. It didn't matter how many people would turn up on the door, she'd always have enough food to feed people, which was, uh, was amazing. She had to feed people as soon as they came in through the door. She had, she had to have something cooked, even if they'd eaten, you know, she was offended. She was offended if people came around to the house already fed. <laughs> a little bit of olive oil, so just give it a good glug. Don't, not to be confused with a splash. <laughs> like I say, you just want to get a nice runny paste. So we're looking at something like that, so you can re we really want to massage this into the lamb. So I'm going to put it on, you're going to massage that in. Get it right into the hole, so you work it in. We're going to really put this so that the whole marinade is massaged all over the lamb and we're putting it right into the heart of it. This is then going to be cooking for around about four hours, so it's a slow cooked lamb. So we've got a nice dish, but you don't want it to be too big, you don't want it to be moving around too much, it fits in perfectly. We're going to put some white wine in it now, which is what it's cooked in. How are we getting on there, Uncle George? You want a, want a hand opening that bottle? It's going to edit this out. You cut, you cut this. <laughs> I, have, I have opened bottles of wine. We, we, we drink enough wine, surely, surely you should. White wine's going in. Like I say, you're looking at probably just under a third of a bottle. Obviously, the more lamb you've got, the more, more wine you use, but yeah, not, not much more than that, around about a third. I'm gonna put the bay leaves on. As I said, you're gonna pack this in. You want it to cook in all them juices. You really wanna cut, get that really nice and, nice and snug. And then we're gonna get the lid on. Perfect. That's your Cleftico ready. Marinade is done, it's in there. We're gonna get it straight in the oven now. Temperature's around about 160. Just gonna cook for a long period of time. So nice low heat and, and, and let it go. And we're done. Perfect, it's in. So here we go. Cleftico, it's been cooking for about four and a half hours. Pulled it out of the oven. We've let it rest for around about 30 minutes or so. We're gonna just pop it on the ball there. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's just so tender. You can see it's just falling off. There you go. So if you like this, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Go to our website, thesaki.co.uk. Full recipes will be on there. Check it out. Very good. Till next time, yamas.